right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Guys, we have another budget knife from Beyond EDC for you from their budget line, the Beyond EDC line. Uh, this is the Beyond EDC Sunder. Uh, first, say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and Log and TV. Uh, you know, a lot of people have been asking me, why do I do that all the time? Well, uh, you know, because people think it's fun. So th that's literally why. My wife got me Ren and Stimpy for Christmas like a year and a half ago. I put them up there as a joke, and everybody thought it was funny. And the good friend of the channel, Jason Brown, sent uh, Log and uh, Powder Toast Man and the TV, and they've just stuck around. So there you go. There's your little uh, look at that. And guys, we do have fun here. So if you want to have fun, click on that subscribe button and the notification bell and we have lives and everything else. So stick around. But we're going to talk about this big, uh, crazy budget knife from Beyond EDC. Now, uh, you can find these uh, at, uh, I see them at Knife Center. Uh, they have three different versions. It looks like a black G10 a brown G10 and a blue G10, um, but they're a little bit higher. Now, if you go over to um, to white, by the way, this comes from the Apex Pass Around Group, but if you go over to um, uh, White Mountain Knives, they have the Knives Fast Blue version, uh, blue G10 and uh, D2 for $45 in stock, and you can get 10% off with code Knives Fast. And we'll, so we'll use uh, Blade HQ for our specs here in just a minute, and I'm um, Blade HQ. White Mountain Knives, you knew what I meant. All right, so this is the Sunder. Now, right off the bat, this is a very interesting shape knife. You've got kind of this uh, bend here like a banana, uh, especially on the blade. Um, you got brown G10 with contouring, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, you do have, uh, you know, contouring, so the screws do stick up ever so slightly. Backspacer, you do have a lanyard hole this time. Uh, instead of the spacer sticking out like we had on the linear. You do have a loop over pocket clip this time, which is great because that means you only have about that much sticking out of the pocket, and that is great. Now, good clip. Uh, it's a little springy, but I haven't had a problem with it retaining in the pocket. I wish it was a little tighter. And you do have uh, rounded pocket clip screws. There's a little bit of room there, so it shouldn't be a big deal snagging on the pocket. I didn't. I wear, again, thinner stuff. I don't wear jeans a lot. Um, so I didn't have a problem, but if you do, you might because it's a shorter clip and then you have those rounded screws. So who knows, but, uh, that's what you've got now. Again, the, the, the grip is pretty good. It's not, you know, super, uh, grippy, but it's good. Like a good G10. It is rounded off this time on the edges. You do have full liners. Um, the liners do not have any weight reduction in them, uh, you know, but we'll see here in a minute what that means. Um, now, it is a big four-finger knife for me. Um, this can be a joil, uh, but just, I mean, you are kind of dangerously playing with the edge of that unless you're back here like this, um, you know, but it's not too bad. And then you've got some jimping here that's about in the place your thumb is. And if you want to come out here in this area, it's nice and crowned. Yes, you heard me correctly. You have a crown spine on this baby for $45. There's the Beyond EDC logo. You have plenty of relief on your sharpened edge here. You have a fuller. You have a D2 stonewash blade with this crazy, what are they? We're going to see what they call this blade shape. It's a modified cleaver in my opinion. Yeah, they call it a cleaver. That's exactly what they call it. On this side, you have D2 in the model number, which is what they seem to do on all their knives. You do have a swedge out here at the end, um, and very cool. Now, as far as action, now you've got uh, this kind of scooped out, uh, you know, uh, flipper tab. Wow. Um, and it does start to, if you flip this a lot, that point is going to irritate your finger a little bit. Now, it does not, I mean, it is a good detent. Let's see, can I fail it? I can't fail it. It's just, it's it's sort of lazy, you know, because it's a big, heavy blade. But you can see, guys, you have good access to the lock bar. And when you disengage and you go like this, it comes to your thumb and then it just goes. It is a heavy blade and it just wants to go back. Now, the, you know, the detent's pretty good. I mean, it's pretty good. And I can easily uh, middle finger flick it with that. Um, I can't, can I thumb flick it? No, I cannot thumb flick it. Maybe out here. 
That's really weird. Uh, no, I can't. So it's really a flipper and a middle finger flick uh, kind of thing, which is, whoops, perfect for me if I don't miss. Uh, you do have a, by the way, if I didn't say it, the clip is tip up left and right. Uh, lock up, great. I mean, solid as a rock, um, but <laughs> we do have an elephant in the room here. You can see the detent ball down there. Um, that is a extremely early lockup. Um, I did use it, and we'll talk about that in a minute, quite a bit. And I didn't have a problem with it coming unlocked, but I wish that was a lot better. What's that, like a 5 or maybe 10? Uh, really, really early on that. Um, and maybe that's why it's so easy to disengage uh, because it's so, so early. Now, uh, oh, um, what was I going to... I said we'll talk about that in a minute. What will we talk about in a minute? Dang it. What was I, what was I going to say? I don't know. Uh, I totally lost whatever it was. So, uh, guys, tell me in the uh, comments if I said something and then I forgot to, to follow up on it. Uh, Specs-wise, 3.39-inch blade with a 3.07 cutting edge. 4.80 on the closed length. The overall is 8.19. 0.16. So it is a thicker, oh, I know what it was, a thicker blade stock. Uh, but I had a, uh, you guys have seen this new cabinet that I have here. When my wife brought this, uh, the base cabinet in, it was in a big, thick, almost like refrigerator type box. And this guy, almost with very little resistance, just killed that cardboard. I mean, just right down through it. Uh, no resistance whatsoever. I was very, very impressed. Um, thick cardboard. Five ounces this knife is. The handle thickness is thicker, 0.55. But again, I would call it CEO approved. It is not, it's not a big deal for me, especially if I can choke up. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty good in the hand. It's kind of big, but I, I like it. Um, cage bearings, again, now your comparison knives... Um, I feel like this is going to be really close. Let's see. Well, the Ontario Rat 1 is slightly bigger in the blade, maybe. Um, and the Rat 2 is going to be a lot smaller, obviously. Yep, there you go. So there are your comparisons. Let's tilt down just a little bit for you there. And uh, those are your comparisons. So, uh, guys, what questions do you have on this one? I don't know. Leave them down in the comments. I feel like I've missed something, but... For $45, if you like a, man, a cleaver style blade and you just want some crazy action like that, don't lose a finger, by the way, um, then this might be your guy. Um, I, by the way, carry wise, this is a lot kind of sticking in the corner there and it kind of is a little bigger in the pocket, but not too bad uh, at all. But there is the Beyond EDC Sunder, thanks to the Apex Pass Around Group for sending that one along and check it out guys if you're interested give me a thumbs up comment down below and thank you ever so much for all your support and for watching the knives fast channel